How's it going, everybody? Kevin Gleason here with Team Latitude 64 and Team Bria Disc Golf. And uh, today I'm here with the wonderful guys from Gatekeeper Media, and they've chose to film me on a... Uh, it's chilly today, 45 degrees, but the most interesting thing is, is we're doing a ruby challenge today. And if you don't know what the ruby is, it's a uh, 155, 156 class disc. It does not play well in the wind. And uh, take a look at this. We're, we're at a 15 mile per hour wind today. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Um, I got a couple pretty new rubies to me. Um, this one came in my secret Santa gift. And then this is my new team stamp one that I'm putting in the bag for, uh, for the 2021 season. I gave my last one to a young kid in North Carolina, Landon. I know you put it on the wall, but I still say you should, uh, should throw the thing. So again, we're here at Shoemaker Park hole two. Let's, uh, <laughs> I guess, keep it out of the water. Not bad. We're off. I don't putt with these things, but I use them off the tee a lot. I never use them in 15 mile per hour winds, but uh, I guess uh, today's the day. So we're gonna kind of bounce around today. Play hole two, one and eight will be the first ones. Um, see how we do. Yeah, it lifted up. Well, I didn't lose it in the uh, in the water, so so this one's gonna be kind of interesting. Hole one. Um, if I throw a hyzer, I think the uh, I think the wind coming off the water is gonna run it that way. So I could try to go through the trees with a pop hyzer, and if I don't hit a tree, get a chance to run at it, I guess. And of course, the wind's picking up more. <laughs> Got it. I'm gonna throw another one just to try it. We'll go outside. Just consistently hit the tree. I think my goal today was to try to shoot even. So in this wind, I was hoping if it wasn't gonna be windy, I was gonna try to get like a five down, but. I think there's going to be a lot of upshots like this. That are going to float away. Run over here and get my other one. Headwind on every hole. There we go. Take that. I threed it. I'm happy with that. So this one, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna get on the right side, try to just pop a little hyzer and run it straight at it. That's pretty good. So this time I'm gonna run one right down the middle. Or left side. <laughs> They're, they're right beside each other. <laughs> so, the ruby stays in my bag. Um, truthfully, for it's usually a get out of trouble disc for me. Um, I can pop it real high and watch it just glide and keep turning. Um, I love coming out to this course on a non-windy day and just playing with the ruby. Um, it's pretty much a disc that you have to throw the way that you're taught not to throw. Pop it with a hyzer and it runs up and jumps. Which one did I throw first, the pink one? Another headwind putt. Ah, it didn't lift up enough. That one lifted. Keeping it par. Not too bad. 
the tailwind with the Ruby is really not that bad because I'm going to have to pop this a lot of hyzer. I'm going to aim right to the right side of that tree and hopefully get it to turn in. I have aced this hole and I, I think I've aced this one and 18 with a Ruby. So we'll see. Car coming. I'm going to wait for the car to go by. What do you think, Derek? What color? Team stamp or blue on this one? Okay, team stamp it is. Good call. Can we throw the blue one? Why not? Why not? Okay. That's a good line. Oh, if it hadn't hit the tree. If... That one don't count though, it doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. We got another putt for two. Another birdie putt. I can't even blame that one on the wind. That was all me. To save par. <laughs> I let go right here. Yeah, Jake did a good job. He came out here and did this one day. Jake Benson, one of my buddies, he's a good dude. That helps out because people keep tearing up or stealing the T signs like any other course. So, yeah, he came out and hand washed the baskets. I mean, that was what six months ago it's or more. Too. Yeah, the signs and the baskets. So, Jake does a lot out here. Now, we're gonna go red, and uh, it's yeah, I, I throw a ruby on this hole, so we'll see. That was almost perfect. Another tree hit. Man. <laughs> nah, playing the red, but uh, this wind really. So I don't throw. I don't throw it in the wind. You know, I don't. I don't use the ruby in the wind. It's a good practice for me though with the ruby in the wind. Um, you know, these things are very touchy but have a lot of control. So, I think I'm still even though, that ain't bad. Another headwind. I think the wind's, the wind's following us. I thought I was gonna turn more. There we go. That's still even. Still even. Uh, that's better putt than I've hit all day. Okay, we're going to yellow basket on this one. Should I try a roller to yellow? We should have played to the red. <laughs> you are crazy. Friends, you gotta have friends. It's good to have people to play at the disc golf course with. I'm the type of person, if you're not having a good time, why are you even there? So, um, what did I hit? I hit the second one, hit these. That ain't bad from back there. I'd have missed a putt from the red. At least if I missed the yellow, it's farther out. Doesn't feel as bad. Dang it. 
That was a bad roll away. Save this for par. I think I said my goal was to stay par, stay even, so so far I'm even. I don't know, 295 feet for a ruby. I might be able to I might be able to get it two thirds away the there. Um, I'm all I'm gonna pop it with a hyzer with a lot of height up there and hopefully it'll slow do a slow turn and just glide. So we'll see. Need a little bit more height. That one bad. Let me try to get one higher. Consistent? Not the same? I don't know that I've ever tried to throw one on this hole. I feel like I threw it fairly well. It flew like I wanted it to. Um, I like that the wind's died down. Uh, see if they're pretty consistent, the uh, same spot as where the first and second, they land in the same spot. Uh, I got a putt for two. Oh no. Terrible, just terrible. I keep playing the wind so much that I'm throwing it too low. Now there's a headwind. I had a feeling this was going to happen on one hole. I think I'm about where I was to start off with. <sighs> no, there's more tree. That was one. Plus two. You know, when you're putting with a 155 disc and a headwind, it lifts up. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the course. Um, one of the gentleman's names is Chris Roberts. Um, he is one of the people that started this course. There was another guy. I never met him. I didn't, I didn't live here then. Um, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But I want to say the course was put in 15, 16 years ago. I've been playing it for 12 years. I moved here about 12 years ago. And um, there's two pads, two baskets on every hole. It's only on nine acres of land, so it's, uh, it's pretty tight. But, you know, there's always, uh, you can always play a different layout every time you come. So, you know, short to short, I'm looking to shoot I want to shoot at least double digits every time I play short to short. I think Zach Melton's got the course record long to long. I believe it was eight down during a sanctioned round. Yeah, minus one hole though. It's got an asterisk. Played short on the dock hole. Yeah, but yeah, that we didn't play the dock hole because it was dangerous that day. But um, I still consider it. My best out here is I've shot a seven down long to long. Um, Short to short. I think it was that same tournament. No, I shot like a four or five that day, though. I shot well. I mean, it used to be long to long out here. 
even the one even the one down is about a thousand right around so um, it's tight tricky wooded on every hole um, not the longest course in the world but um, you can come out here and learn some shot shaping you know that's why the ruby's great you know I, I'll come out here and play just a ruby round because you can get it turned right you can fluff it a little bit it'll go left or straight and um, we'll come out here and just play ruby rounds and um, 15 right here is the shortest hole in the course what do we got one 160 feet um, straight shot you know I'm gonna pop it with a hyzer and see if I can get it flip up and run at it that's a good line it keeps turning I think it turned a little more. That'll turn. I'm starting to think the blue one's flippier than the team stamp one. It it seems to hold that right a little bit more. So, you know, these are two fairly new discs I just put in my bag this year. So, okay, one over after some back and forth on the hole before. Got a birdie. So look, okay. So here's hole 12 to the yellow. We were playing long to long and Melton's roller ended up, where did it end up? Right here. From 12 long to long, ended up somewhere right here where he just, It's on Gatekeeper Media, type in Shoemaker Park. I'm sure you can probably put Zach Melton, Kevin Gleason. Uh, who else was in that round that time? When was it? It was uh, two, two years ago now, I think so. About this, it was close to this time two years ago. Yeah. And you can get all of your content that's needed from Gatekeeper Media Number one, Gatekeeper Media, number one. Okay, so I've aced this one with a ruby. I've, al I've also thrown it in the water with a ruby, so. I think I'd be more, I think if it was 20, 30 mile per hour wind would make this more interesting, you know. Just enough to where I don't care. It, it's just enough at 15 miles per hour that I'm like, Hey, I can make this putt. No, let's watch it lift up and fly farther than your initial tee shot. Um, red. Yeah. And, and there's what, a nice little headwind coming through here. So we said the blue one's flippier, didn't we? Okay. Blue one's flippier. That's in the water. Swimming? Safe. Safe. The rubies go right when it's a headwind. <laughs> they don't go straight, they don't go left. They go right. You can, you can hope they go left, but no, they go right. <laughs> <laughs> but from from what uh chris has uh told us they're safe eh. that'll work thought about trying to to put it in this way i don't think that would have worked i think i'd have hit a limb and rolled in the water this is the only elevation in Salisbury, Maryland. So another reason to come here. I don't remember which one. Put them both in. There we go. So, <laughs> startled me. So I throw a ruby on this hole. 
I have a feeling it's gonna, if I thought right, probably end up down, there's a holly tree right by Chris. Let's see, which way you need me to step off, right? Crosswind is going to just, if that wind catches this, it's just going to push it. Almost. I think that was a good line. Okay, I'm going to go over here and lay this one up. <laughs> I think the first one, the first one was actually going to end up pretty nice. Let's see here. Or should I just run at it? What do y'all think? Should I go for it or lay it up? Go for it, okay. They want to watch me bogey. Okay, they said go for it. Wow, that puts me back at even. It'd be better to close it out after I hit a, what, a 45, 50 footer? No, you just have to do it again. I don't think I can. You realize if I'd miss that, it was just gonna glide all the way down to the water. But hey, there's some guys over there, they said go for it, so I went for it. Um, so, so again, Kevin Gleason, Team Latitude 64, Team Bria Disc Golf, Ruby Challenge on a 15 mile per hour windy day. My goal was to shoot even on the holes that we played. You know, I had one, one slip up. I took a five. That made my second birdie, so I'm even. My goal was even. So um, if I can ace or birdie this one, that'll be ending to a good day. Thank you, Gatekeeper Media, for coming out and do this. Subscribe, like, share these videos. And uh, yeah, and um, also Kevin Gleason Disc Golf on YouTube. I do short little videos, so check them out. Again, subscribe to Gatekeeper Media, Kevin Gleason Disc Golf, and um, thanks for watching. That one more. That was a good line. Didn't we say the team stamp turn more? <laughs> I think the guys behind us were nice enough to let me play through and then tell me hit a putt. I'm gonna go give the blue one to the uh, to the gentleman back there. They told me to hit the hit that putt, and I finished one down and I'll take it. So I'm gonna walk back here, guys, and uh, since this is over, I'm gonna go give this guy this blue ruby. Hey man, hey, what's your name? Alex, Alex or Alan? Alex, that. We'll give this to you, man. So I just came out here with Gatekeeper Media to shoot an all ruby round. They're lightweight, 155, 156 okay. class disc. It'll be on Gatekeeper Media's channel pretty soon. I'm mic'd up Thank right you. now. Thank you for telling me for going for that. That was the only putt I hit all day. So y'all have a good round. Thank you for letting me play through. Have fun. <laughs>